Hey guys, welcome to my bike check video for the Colorado Trail Race, the 2024 Colorado Trail Race. Today I'm going to go over um, everything I have on my bike, everything I'm bringing, everything in my backpack. We'll start with the bike, we'll move on to the bags, and then we'll go through uh, all the gear that I have in each bag. So I'll try to keep this as uh, quick and also comprehensive as possible. Uh, so you can get an idea for what I'm showing up to the start line with. So but before we do that, um, it's my first time doing the CTR. I have never actually been on any, not even any of the single track at any point in time in my life of the Colorado Trail Race. Um, I hiked it once, but I've never been on it on a bike. So this is all going to be like totally brand new territory for me. Um, I'm estimating about five to six days of time. Uh, total finish time um, You know if I'm feeling sprite I might do four days if I'm feeling sluggish. I might do seven days um, But that's the range. I'm planning to ride about 20 hours a day uh, of moving time and sleep about four hours a night and See how that treats me. I might modify that a little bit if uh, Storms come in and I got to adjust it ride a little longer to get out of uh, lightning areas um, and then maybe sleep a little longer uh, if I have to work around that. So that's the plan for right now. Uh, one note, the description uh, for this video has the link to LiderPack.com, which has my entire CTR packing list, every bag, all the weights, all the links, uh, all the items, everything. It's comprehensive. So if you really want to like dive in, that's the spot to do it. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the little, uh, little intro there um so let's start with the bike here so this is a 2023 specialized epic evo it's kind of a down country bike uh it's my only mountain bike i decided to just go with one bike that i think kind of can ride all terrain and um, serve me well so it's got uh, a fox step cast 120 millimeter front fork uh it, and uh the all factory on the suspension so fox Transfer SL seat post, uh, Fox S SL uh, rear shock. I think it's around 120 millimeters, and uh, and then the 120 millimeter step cast fork. Uh, it's also got a full XTR drivetrain. So uh, cranks, chain. Oh, this thing likes to fall over on me. Crank, chain, cassette. Uh, brakes are XTR four piston with 180 millimeter rotors front and back, which I really like that um, high-end braking performance out of those. And then pretty much all the other components are race face. So race face carbon bars, uh, race face next carbon wheels. Let's see. Yeah, race face stem. Uh, so the whole thing's about 24 and a half pounds when it is dry. So it's a nice balance between light and down capable. I really, really like this bike. Uh, let's see, for grips, seat, it's all Ergon. Ergon uh, GS2 grips with the bar ends that are sweet, really sweet. Uh, they give me all this other hand positioning. Um, so that's really helped with my hand fatigue. I can climb on single track. Uh, on those bar ends if it's mellow climbing. So really nice to have that option. And a uh, Ergon SM Pro saddle. So these are my touch contact points. Uh, um, taking a lot of time to dial those in. So um, and let's see, uh, pedals, little story with the pedals. I was gonna go with flats. If you've been listening to my stuff, uh, Francis Hacker had talked me into flats. I rode flats for a little bit on this bike. I did about a hundred mile ride like an endurance ride and I started to get uh, numbness in my left foot and clicking in the pedals so I decided to bail on that idea go back to what has worked for me in the past tried and true so I have the XT Shimano XT SPD pedals and I am wearing Pearl Azumi X Alp Summit shoes um, I have a fairly new pair of shoes I've, I've used these before um, I just replacement pair so they're fairly fresh for all the hiking 
Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's see some of the maintenance I did on my bike to prepare for this long epic journey. Uh, I put new tires on, so Maxxis Recon 2.3, 2.4 on the front and Recon Race 2.35 on the back. That's my favorite combination. I really like that. Uh, less rolling resistance on the back. I put new brand new brake pads in. Um, I did service the front fork and put new oil and uh, replaced the dust wiper seals on that because I had gotten into some death mud like three weeks ago. And so I just put all new fresh oil and seals in there. So those are good to go. Um, let's see. I also put a new chain on. My old chain was at like 0.75 wear. So it's right on that point of needing to be changed. So I put a new chain on because uh, I'm sure I'll go through plenty of, uh, I'll put plenty of uh, work, on, work on the chain on this. And, uh, oh, I checked my uh, suspension pivot bearings, the torque on all of those on the whole bike. So pretty much double checked all the bolts and everything. And um, I feel pretty good. And I feel pretty confident that the changes that I did make aren't gonna come back and bite me in the ass. So uh, let's move on to the bags. So I'm running a Rogue Panda Blue Ridge front harness, which I really like. It's got mounts locally made in Flagstaff, and then these carbon bars on the front. Uh, and I'll show you my sleep system when we get to the bags here, uh, when we get to the um, individual gear set here. Uh, so then the other bags I have, a dispersed frame bag, dispersed top tube bag, uh, shout out dispersed, best bags ever. And then in the back, I'm not running a seat bag. I am running uh, essentially just a this is my tarp on the back. I have my tarp, my six by nine Sil Poly tarp in here. And I have it just in a stuff sack with a couple of uh, volet straps holding it to the seat rails. The system seems to work pretty well. I've tested it pretty comprehensively. And uh, yeah, it, it's not going anywhere like this and it allows me to drop and I have plenty of clearance here. So, and I can run a blinky light in the back. Um, so I, re I really like this better than a big old long seat bag for this kind of lightweight setup. So let's see. Yeah, that's it on the bags. So my front roll harness, I got this, I was inspired by Josh Ibbett. So thanks Josh for this. Um, basically my entire bivy kit is rolled up and ready to go in this front burrito roll. So, uh, got that just unclipped and i'll show you how this works here you can just pull it out and line it out and just like that you got all i got to do is inflate my pad and i'm ready to go so what i have here is a bora gear bug bivy so it's cuban fiber on the back and i think this is like sil nylon or sil poly on the front and then the bug mesh netting this is not a waterproof bivy and then on the inside i have my uh, mountain hardware phantom spark 28 degree bag tried and true bag i really like it it's pretty lightweight and packable and then I have this Climate Inertia X-Frame, uh, super light, semi, not very un not very comfortable sleeping pad, but it all rolls up really nicely and packs up really nicely. And so to pack it, I just do the opposite. I roll it up from the bottom um, and stuff it in the sack, in the burrito. One thing to note is this Cuban fiber is waterproof, so when I roll it up on itself, if the front roll does saturate through with rain, I'm hoping that this will be a second barrier of rain for me, uh, of, of rain control for me. So we'll see. So that's the sleep kit. Um, and then if it does rain, which it will rain, I'm sure. I've been told once or twice it rains in Colorado. 
I have a six by nine sil poly tarp. So I'll pop this off for you now, which I can pop out here, which I also have this on the leash. So pro tip there, anything that's important like this, put on a leash. So that's it, it's off. I'm not gonna set this up for you um, right now, but I'll pull it out and show you. So this is my, I got my six by nine Sil Poly tarp with my tie outs already attached. These are um, Dyneema or Cuban fiber cordage here, already attached and ready to go. Uh, I got a center guy line and uh, let's see, six stakes for that. And I've been practicing my knots to, I actually had a dream the other night. I, I couldn't even, I was, I was kind of panicking, freaking out about CTR and thinking, thinking about, oh shit, I'm gonna forget how to tie my knots in the middle of this. And I've been practicing like once a week every day to make sure my knot game's on point. And uh, yeah, so like, I couldn't imagine how to tie the knot in my head, but when I, I could do it with my hands, with my muscle memory. So essentially like, I know it's good. I'm gonna be an autopilot when the time comes. So I got that, and then I also have a, uh, pull this out right now, a 48 inch Z-Pax carbon pole that I use for one end of the tarp so I can get some space underneath. So that system has been working really well and I don't require trees to set this up. I can set it up anywhere. So really like that, really good system. So let's go through these bags really quick. Chain lube, I'm bringing a big two ounce bottle of wolf tooth chain lube, squirrel's nut butter. Uh, what are these? Caffeine and salt pills. Um, ibuprofen. Sunscreen. Chapstick. And my battery bank. So this is a night core, 10,000 milliamp hour. Uh, so yeah, this, I hope this thing works. It's to recharge basically my Garmin 1040 solar. Okay, moving on. So that's the top tube bag. Rest of the frame bag, I have some extra Ziplocs here. I like to get pizza mid route. And so this allows me, I can grab a pizza, let it cool off for a minute and then throw a bunch in these Ziplocs uh, on the fly. And then just some extra, uh, these are all freezer Ziplocs, so they're completely waterproof. So in case I need to waterproof something like my phone or whatever, it's almost no weight, a little bit of assurance. All right, I'm moving on to this other side here of the uh, frame bag. Sorry if you can't see it. Uh, charging cords. Let's put this in a different pile so I know which bag it goes in. Toilet paper. This is a Z-Lock. Hip locks, Z lock, I think. So this is a like a, basically a super cheapo cable lock, just for like theft prevention when I'm at resupply. Um, got some toiletries, toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, some wet wipes, a few wet wipes here. I have two extra batteries for my Phoenix uh, BC 26R. That's my lighting I'm going to be using. So in total, I'm gonna have three charged batteries. So I think that's probably gonna get me through my entire trip uh, without much of an issue there. What else do I got in here? Uh, toolkit. So this consists of, this is part of my toolkit. This consists of a tubalito is what kind of tube I'm using. Let's see. Tubalito, Tubalito patch. Um, what else is in here? CO2, CO2 inflator. Extra gloves. Derailleur hanger. My little medical kit here, which has some things like some backup water filtering options, some uh, aqua tabs, some minor um, field medical stuff, uh, some blister repair stuff if needed. And then I got my other toolkit, which is a mini pump and a wolf tooth multi-tool. 
8-bit kit too, I think, that has all the bells and whistles on it. All right, that's it in that bag. Let's see. For tech, I have, for te my technology, I have that BC36R that I told you about, the lighting, a Garmin 1040 Solar, which I'll probably have to recharge once or twice, but it does do the fast charging, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then I have a Cherry Bomb Blinky Light. All right. Oh, there's some capacity in here in the main frame pocket left for most of my food. I'm going to put some of my main food in there. So, okay, let's do my backpack. So I'm wearing a Solomon uh, running vest. I really like to ride in it too. It allows for two liters of water in the back. And then I have these half liter uh, flasks that I can fill with whatever, different flavors of drinks or different kinds of tailwind or whatever. So I like having the versatility of all that. I also have a goo flask that I'm bringing for maple syrup, uh, Embark Good Energy, maple energy. I love that stuff. So I'm gonna f f backfill this. I can fill this at resupply if I need to with um, organic maple syrup if I can find it so I don't have to carry it all. All right, what else do I have in here? Water filter, Solomon XA filter. It also has a, its flask style, so you can, if you punch a hole in this flask, you can use one of the other flasks, um, or you can use this as an extra carry capacity for water. I don't think I'll need it on CTR, but I did use this often on Arizona Trail Race. Uh, so this is my primary water filter, easy to access, so I can jump off and refill these flasks or the bladder, what, it, what have you. All right, let's see what else is in here. I got my MP3 player and headphones, and I go with an old school MP3 player, so I don't have to charge stuff. It just this thing lasts forever. Caffeine pills, insurance card, cash. All right, let's flip this thing around. Uh, Spot Gen 3 for tracking. For rain gear, I am going with a Mont Bell torrent flyer Gore-Tex jacket so a legit rain jacket and then in the main pocket here I have an extra pair of merino wool darn tough socks my Patagonia nano puff hoodie Gore-Tex rain pants Pearl Izumi sun legs. I don't know if I'm going to need these or not, but I feel like if I don't pack them, I'll regret it. And then I have like a whole bunch of tailwind in here, bags of white powder. I'm starting with 4,000 calories of tailwind. Um, I'll put more in my water bladders. And then I'm planning to, I pro tip, well, I'm not a pro, but here's a tip. I called the, there's a, uh, store called Trailhead in Buena Vista that's like halfway on the route and they carry Tailwind and they carry Squirrel Nut Butter. So I don't have to pack for the whole trip on that. I can resupply it in Buena Vista as long as I time it correctly. So I am definitely planning on doing that. So a whole bunch of white powder. Let's see what else I got in here. Seems to be it. Oh, there's more white powder in here. I won't, uh, won't pull all that out for you. So I think that's it for the backpack. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, so clothing, um, helmet, buff. Sorry, not a buff, like a headband, sweatband thing to keep all the sweat dripping in my eyes. Uh, I am wearing these uh, transitional glasses that I've really liked. I really, really, really like these. Um, you just leave them on when it goes into night and you don't have to mess with them. Just have to clean them every once in a while. Uh, this sun hoodie that I'm wearing, I have a jersey underneath and uh jersey with pockets here so a lot of my food is going to be going in my jersey pockets and then on this vest uh there's these kangaroo pockets where you can actually put a lot of stuff too i like to put like bottles of soda and stuff in there and carry those along with me um so basically all my food is going to be like on my body and then some in my bags here that's what that's pretty much where i'm carrying most of my food so I uh, got the sun hoodie, which goes up and over, uh, you know, to help with some of that sun. 
I am wearing, not doing chamois shorts. This is new to me. I, well, I've tested it um, and I feel really pretty confident about it. So these are uh, Lululemon Sense Knit running, 10 inch running shorts uh, with pockets. So I can put my phone in there uh, and have easy access to that. I like to carry my phone in the side pocket. Uh, so that way it's not bouncing around. And uh, yeah, they actually feel really good with that squirrels nut butter. Um, I don't actually have much chafing problems. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, for footwear, I already mentioned the X Alp Summits. Waterproof rain socks, uh, waterproof socks. Randy Sun is a brand, Amazon. Uh, those, I use these in on a stagecoach, on a super wet year on the stagecoach 400 and they were amazing. Just incredible socks. So I think I'm gonna start with these and then have those merino wool ones if I wanna switch into those, uh, you know, to sleep or to let these dry out or whatever. And then uh, Catula instigators to keep all the junk out of my shoes. Yeah, so I think that's it. Let's see, let me look at my notes here. Hit up the comments if you have any questions. I hope that was helpful. Uh, we'll see how all this gear goes. Um, yeah, you know, I'm wondering what I'm gonna regret bringing or what I'm gonna regret not bringing. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, become a member, shout out. Thanks for watching.